To experience 99 varieties of mandis, visit Nas Mandi opposite Shilparamam High Tech City and Gachibauli. One channel to associate I in years work cheyada mo. Prada kya var achieve cheyin dadi. I think uh, not many people are blessed with the connection that I have made with the audience, and I'm glad that. Uh, I hate that I can't get sleep, but I love it at the same time. अंदर की बालिका वधू अंटे गुरतचे मिरु इपुरु अदे पैर तो कुन्चु वधू वधू I think that was such a smart move because uh, like reminding them. पढ़ के गुरतुन ने पायो character Jason तरवाता चाला मंदी doubtful का feel होता kind of talk मिदा का वोचिंदा. Since the time I have started working, I haven't faced. accepting me as an actor and not just anandi yeah kar ki pota vachana ada there were three heroines but mm. that particular character there is a reason acting wise wala talent tho gurtundi povadam kuda anta pedda actress chinna roles chestha i want that if 10 years later 20 years later if somebody is thinking of Perfect. <laughs> Over the years, projects you have done, you have gained experience. You have seen people. You have seen real life. After that, after that, what is your perspective on acting? Acting as a career. A big smile on my face and that satisfaction in my heart is what matters. Me journey ni. You have to even compare just kuna the situation sunna hai. I don't know anybody else who started the journey this early. Hmm. the big bollywood stars that there are today they know me prati pr team evaraithe unnaro vaallu actresses ki suggest chestunnar in fact they are kind of pressurizing them to build their followers i think yeah that happens it evaallu em anukunnaru is directly proportional to the market one of the recent hit films of 12th fail by vidhu vinod chopra that logic doesn't work always mm. and avika there were rumors like about your marriage and all yes My wedding please come Hello viewers welcome to iDream Media chaala mandi actress vaalla talent tho gurtundi potharu alanti oka actress avika gor vaalla mantho unnaru uyyala jampala tho first tana telugu movie start chesi almost ipudu 10 years tarvata vadhu series tho mana munduku vastunnaru namaste amika hello Hello. thank you so much i'm good and uh, I'm excited, nervous, mixed feelings this time because it's my uh, kind of first series on OTT. The first one that I was a part of was Mansion 24 on Hotstar again, and that was just one episode. So I didn't feel so much stress, mm. but this time I am feeling that. <laughs> <laughs> but Avika, ma to. మా ఛానల్తో జర్నీ అనేది మీకు ఇప్పుడు కాదు ఆల్మోస్ట్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ మోర్ దెన్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ ఇయర్స్ కదా ఒక ఛానల్తో అసోసియేట్ అయ్యి ఇన్ని ఇయర్స్ వర్క్ చేయడము అండ్ స్టిల్ ఆ ఛానల్ నుండి కానీ ఆ ఛానల్స్కి అసోసియేట్ అయిన ఓటీటీస్ నుండి కానీ మీకు ఆఫర్స్ రావడం అనేది ఇట్స్ సంథింగ్ అంటే ఇప్పుడు దాకా ఎవరు అచీవ్ చేయండి అది ఐ థింక్ నాట్ మెనీ పీపుల్ ఆర్ బ్లెస్డ్ విత్ ద కనెక్షన్ దట్ ఐ హ్యావ్ మీడ్ విత్ ద ఆడియన్స్ అండ్ ఐఎమ్ గ్లాడ్ దట్ Uh, the team that is there for uh, ma tv or star ma or you know hot star all these people yeah. i'm glad that they see it i'm glad that they acknowledge what i've earned the love and the attention that i've earned from the audience and i think they are making the most of it and uh, back to back uh, two series that have released last month was one this month is one there's a lot happening and uh, it's exciting honestly it is really like that phase of my life where there is so much happening and i hate that i can't get sleep but i love it at the same time <laughs> i love so the amazing. fact that um, i'm so busy i love the fact that whatever i am doing be it movies or series people are watching it people are loving it and i think as an actor that's a that's the goal and i'm glad that it's uh, almost always coming out as a good result great అవిక చాలా చిన్న ఏజ్ నుండి మీరు యాక్టింగ్ స్టార్ట్ చేశారు అందరికీ బాలిక వధు అంటే గుర్తొచ్చే మీరు ఇప్పుడు అదే పేరుతో కొంచెం వధు ఐ థింక్ దట్ వాజ్ అ స్మార్ట్ మూవ్ బికాస్ ఇనిషియలీ బికాస్ మై క్యారెక్టర్స్ నేమ్ ఇస్ ఇందు అండ్ వెన్ వీ వర్ వర్కింగ్ ఆన్ ఇట్ ద వర్కింగ్ టైటిల్ వాజ్ ఇందు 
So I thought the series name is going to be Indu. I think it was 15 days back or 20 days back when I got to know the final name is Vadhu and I was blown out of my mind because it is smart. Whoever yeah. thought of it, kudos because it's a very smart move to do something like this because it's not just grabbing attention. It is not that. It is, I think, There's a reason people, for it. letting people know that, like reminding them. Yeah. That that's the same goal. And even on my Instagram, if I post a poster of it, more than half of the comments are about, oh, wow. Okay. So this is something on the lines of Balika Vatu. So they get confused. Yeah. But I think that curiosity will make people watch it. And I think um, for an actor, I think, uh, you know, such strong images are mm. something that people run away from. But I don't. Since day one, I have embraced the fact that people still call me Anandi. People still call me Balika Vadu or Chinari Peli Kutru. I think I'm so proud of it that I don't want that image to go away ever. I like that image. And I think um, it works for me. So why not? Great. Uh, actually, a fetching point. Vadu ane di chala fetching point. It's amma. good. It's good. It's very smart. Yeah. <laughs> Normally, uh, anta fame ochin tarvata. Vokas uh, uh, ante appadi ke gurtu ne payo character chase in tarvata. Meita options, meita chances raavda ane di uh, chala mandi doubtful ka feel hotar. Ella ante mm. dini a uh, character ke beyond me mal chod le re mo ani. Mm. A kind of ime uh, kind of talk meida ka ochin na. So, since the time I have started working, I haven't faced. that kind of criticism about any of my other work whatever characters i have done i have done very different work from balika vadu if you watch me in my hindi film 1920 or if you watch me in my film called uh, net or uh, hashtag #bro it's all very different from the image that i have and i'm glad that people are accepting me as an actor and not just anandi yeah you know and it's important for me also to realize that people will have expectations mm. people will want me to do a level of good work because they see me as somebody who is smartly picking scripts since so many years it's not like i have not been offered characters which you know are super big commercial films it's not like i haven't been approach for stuff like that but there is a reason i did not do that there yeah. is a reason that for me characters or the importance and the value of me as a performer has to be seen in the project and and i think that i really believe in it i really believe that me being a part of mansion 24 added value me being a part of uh, cinema of us mama added value so i think whatever projects i'm choosing even though they are not of a level where people might expect it to be but it makes me feel satisfied it mm. makes me feel that as an actor every day is a challenge every day i like doing characters that keep me up all night mm. thinking how will i do this tomorrow this is a difficult scene how will i how will i able to justify it will it you know give me the ease that an actor should have on screen and you know i like all of those thoughts as an actor it's it's a challenge every day and i'm consciously picking scripts where i get to do that so i think audience see it mm. audience see that every script that has been chosen there's a reason yeah. especially even for vadhu who people are curious because they know that i might not randomly pick up something exactly. there there is a reason that i have chosen this mm. there must be something important about it like for example ikad ki pota uchanawada there were three heroines but mm. there was a reason i did it yeah, exactly and yeah. that particular character there is a reason so i hope people see that effort that i consciously make in this process yes i lose out on a lot of bigger opportunities but i think these opportunities that i grab are better Exactly. so i think uh, that and when people acknowledge that automatically they see that it's not about the image or the character it's about as an actor we should support mm -hmm. her and i think that support is uh, it's been there since day one and even mm -hmm. now after so many years 15 16 years of them seeing me they still want to see more of me i think that as an actor is a big big achievement exactly not many actors ante acting toti wala talent toti gurtundi poy actors chala takku 
ఒక సినిమా రెండు సినిమా హిట్ అయిపోయిన తర్వాత ఆల్ ద క్రెడిట్ గోస్ టు ద డిరెక్టర్ ఆర్ సినిమా ఆర్ ద అదర్ కొంత పార్ట్ వర్క్ బట్ దే లాంగ్ లాస్టింగ్లో వాళ్ళ టాలెంట్తో గుర్తుండిపోతారు అంటే చాలా కొద్ది మంది ఉన్నారు అందులో యో యో ద వన్ మీ టాలెంట్తో గుర్తుండిపోయారు మీరు చాలామంది ఆడియన్స్కి అంటే హౌ డూ యూ కన్సిడర్ దట్ కొన్నిసార్లు యాక్టింగ్ వైజ్ వాళ్ళ టాలెంట్తో గుర్తుండిపోవడం కూడా అంత పెద్ద యాక్ట్రెస్ అంత పెద్ద టాలెంట్ ఉన్న యాక్ట్రెస్ చిన్న రోల్స్ ఐ హోర్డ్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ many times especially in the beginning of my career i used to hear all of this that you know grab as many movies as you can because the shelf life of an actress is 4 to 5 years and that's it now then then there will be a new actress and i remember hearing all of it with a smile and thinking that's not what i am meant to do i think maybe people might think i think highly of myself or i'm arrogant but that's just confidence that's just understanding of what i'm capable of i know i'm capable of doing a lot more than people even think of me as so if i have that confidence i don't think there is anything wrong in it and i don't think that i should go, get into that zone of thinking okay i have to do many movies because i'm approached for many right now i'll just go back to back do movies and let's see what the future holds that's never been my thought i want to do f- work i want to do projects that we are remembered like mm. even now after what it's 2013 i started shooting for royal jump and yeah, people yeah. still talk about it exactly and i think that just speaks for itself it's mm. the credit definitely doesn't go to just me it goes to the directors the writers that i have worked with the characters that they made it so real that it was easy for me to perform the credit goes to the team but i'm so grateful that i get these chances even now even for vadhuvu it's not like there are very few actresses who can do it there are so many actresses who could have done it but there's a reason hot star chose me and uh, fun fact after mansion 24 shoot when the episode was uh, you know screened for hot star people that's when they saw the kind of performance i can do and that's when they approached me for vadhuvu so everything happens work wise because you have done something right in your previous project and i think for me that has worked always because i don't take anything for granted mm. for me even sitting here in this interview is not just okay i have to promote i have to speak a few words that's it no mm. i want what is inside me to reach my audience and i think this is the chance i will have yes. where else people will get to hear me yeah i i am anyway very less on social media whatever is on social media is either for promotion or either for travel or some st- stuff like that but they will not get to listen about what i think of my work journey or anything otherwise so for me this is also very important so i do not take anything for granted so when it comes to a project or mm. giving my all out i do my 200% and i think that has what has been working for me if i'm supposed to look a certain way for something i will go all out and look the character mm. because that's what is needed yeah and i think uh, when people see that effort people know that this is meant for something else and not what we usually see like mm. the generic idea of an actress or a heroine in a way i try to break that mm. with the kind of work i do and i hope people acknowledge that great great <laughs> చాలా చక్కగా అండ్ యాప్ట్గా వాట్ యూ సెట్ ఈస్ సో యాప్ట్ దట్స్ వాట్ దిస్ ఇస్ ద ప్లేస్ వెర్ యూ కెన్ స్పీక్ అవుట్ యా ఐ మీన్ వెర్ విల్ ఐ గెట్ దిస్ ఛాన్స్ దిస్ థర్టీ ఫార్టీ మినిట్స్ ఆఫ్ వాట్ ఎవర్ కాన్వర్జేషన్ వీల్ హ్యావ్ ఇట్స్ గోయింగ్ టు బీ ఆన్ ది ఇంటర్నెట్ ఫర్ అ లైఫ్ టైమ్ అండ్ ఐ డోంట్ వాంట్ ఎనీ యంగ్స్టర్ వాచింగ్ ఇట్ అండ్ టేకింగ్ అన్ ఇన్స్పిరేషన్ దాట్ ఓకే ఓకే ఫైన్ వాట్ ఎవర్ నో because when i watch people who inspire me for example if i watch an interview of a sharukh khan if i watch an interview of um, <coughs> you know like a jennifer lawrence it stays with me yeah. it 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 i remember it when i am thinking something in the negative direction and no what if sharukh would have been in this situation would he do that no no this is how you inspire yourself and i want that if 10 years later 20 years later if somebody is thinking of something i said and if it is impacting their lives why not perfect <laughs> <laughs> so uh, avika mm, uh, over the and almost uh, 50 uh, any years of journey and japal me acting career 16 or so 16 16, 16 or okay 16 anukundam 16 years lo it's uh, been a long time 
Yeah, but you are young. You started very early. Uh, 16 years low. Perspective towards acting change. Hmm. 16 years back, I was doing You have one approach to the, towards acting. Correct. Over Correct. the years, projects have changed. You gained experience. You have seen people. You have seen real life. Apadiki, apadiki, what is your perspective on acting? So, acting as, as a career, in the beginning, it was more like a hobby. It was more like going to school, coming back from school, and now my friends are going to play cricket, I'll go play shooting. You know, it was like that in the beginning. But eventually, I realized that this is what I'm meant for. And um, not just acting, but I love the idea of dancing. I'm like a trained dancer, so I love dancing. I love uh, writing. I've done a screenplay writing course from New York Film Academy. I've studied editing, film editing from uh, Max, some institute in Mumbai. So, you know, when I'm doing all of this, I realize that this is the life I want because I want to be happy with the work I do. Obviously, you earn money and that uh, pros are definitely there being in this industry and being the face for the projects. Obviously, all of that pros are there. But at the end of the day, if I'm going back home with a big smile on my face and that satisfaction in my heart is what matters. So for me, being a part of a project or as an actor or even now as a producer, if I talk about, I think all of these things really make me happy. And in the beginning, I didn't realize how important it was for me to you know, be a part of a show like Balika Vadu, but later I obviously realized how big it was. Mm. I remember the last day or the last week of Balika Vadu, that's when I realized that there is something called TRP. I didn't even know that people make shows because people watch and then there is a rating. I didn't know any of I was that lost in just acting. Mm. So, you know, when I got to know the business behind it, when I got to know all of this, I realized that it's much more than I think. And I think I was very lucky. Mm. I was not just, you know, I didn't, it was not just me working hard, it was luck also. I mean, who at that age would have gotten a show like that, which is aired in 28 countries and this huge and at the set of Balika Vadu, every day it was like an acting school because the Surekha Sikri actor or uh, Anoop Soni, all these actors are so experienced and so well versed with the craft that every day I used to go there and just be like, what is this world? And I want more of it. I want to learn more. So I think my interest developed during Balika Vadu. Before that, I was just, I didn't know, I was just getting dressed and just being on set. <laughs> but later, obviously, now I believe that there is so much more I can contribute to the idea and the world of cinema. No, it is a comparison world. Mm -hmm. the industry mm -hmm. it mostly uh, runs on comparison. Yeah, yeah. Uh, while uh, and starting the Greenwich project, choose kind of the Greenwich to comparison start. Do you personally compare with uh, and me, 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 path, me, me journey? Ni, you ever think compare just kind of the situation? How can I? I mean, I don't know anybody else who started the journey this early. Mm. I don't know nobody, nobody who has been in the industry for so many years and relevant. I don't know any of them. I mean, it makes me feel very proud that when I go to a Kazakhstan and do films there, not many people there know the big Bollywood stars that there are today. They know me. So, you know, when I see these things, it just comes to my mind that there is no way I can compare. Like, th there has not been an example like this that I should compare something with. Mm. And if I have to talk about um, films that I watch and I feel like, oh, wish, I wish I could have done mm. that, mm. there are zillion. There are <laughs> zillion films that I watch and I wish uh, this is the same age group, I should have done it. Mm. Yes, you feel that. I'm human after all. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, when I see a film and I feel that, okay, why, why couldn't they approach me? Why couldn't they think of me? Obviously, these, th these thoughts come. But at the end of the day, I know that the, what is in store for me is not in store for anybody else. Not every household mm. will remember any film or any particular character, but they will remember Anandi. Yeah. And I feel that that connection that I have made with families with any age group, like there are 
eight year old kids who were not even born when I did Balika Vadu, they come up to me and tell me we are watching repeat. Oh. What else would I ask for? I mean, if I complain or if I compare, then that would just be me being ungrateful and I'm not that. Uyala Jampala, which is almost 10 years as we talked yeah. before. How is the uh, Telugu audience receiving you? 10 oh. years back, how is the response? Same love, same admiration. Mm. Nothing has changed. People still, wherever I go, they pull my cheeks. <laughs> wherever I go, uh, you know, there are youngsters uh, who, you know, tell me you inspire us or we want to, you know, act like you or we want to be like you. There are so many people. So, I remember a few years back, there was this uh, uh, fact that kind of ran around like a rumor that I rejected some fairness cream ad. Hmm. And it was a truth. You hmm. know, I did. I didn't want to promote a fairness cream because I didn't want people to think beauty is becoming fair. So, it was my personal thought and somehow it went out in media. Hmm. And after that, there were so many young girls who came up to me and said that, thank you for doing this. Because when we see actresses promote something like this, we feel insecure about our skin. And when I hear stuff like this, I just feel like as an actor, unknowingly it becomes your responsibility because you influence people. Exactly. You become role models. So you have to take care of it. And for me, you know, because my life has been in front of people since I was eight years old. It's just, you know, so honest with people that if I had to, when I remember when that went out in media, the people called me and asked me from media that did you say no to a fairness brand? And I said, yes, I did because I wanted to be honest. I wanted to tell people that I didn't do it because I don't want to promote something that I don't believe in. Mm. I don't promote like a betting app or anything because I don't believe in things mm. and I want to stick to it. Mm. So, you know, there are these values that I hold and I think that helps in the connection that I have had with my audience and they feel that she's real. She's like us. She mm. is one of us and mm. I think that is rare. Uh, Avika, usually uh, actresses movie time lo kani, like pate movie release ki mundu gaani, ila interviews lo kani pichita nga akonna, social media ane di past over 4-5 years nundi baga Chala yeah, mandi yeah. active ga unnaru, millions mm -hmm. of followers kuda mm -hmm. Do you take it as a pressure being continuous ga social media la unnadam, posting everything from day to day life? Do you take it as a pressure or you feel it's a compulsory for uh, being an actress adi compulsory an No, I don't think it is compulsory. Hmm. But I think it is definitely nice to do that because audiences want to see it. You know, it's just that they want to see, okay, what you're wearing today. It's as simple as that. So even for myself, if I don't have a release for a long time, for a month or so, I also ended up not posting anything for a month. I've had those gaps. And I've also posted a lot during my releases. So it's just that I dress up during promotions. So I like posting about that during the promotion. So it just happens to be that timing of promotions. But it's not planned. It's not something that, okay, promotions are coming, I have to start posting. It's not any of that. Mm. It's just that if I'm ready, if I want people to see what I'm wearing, I would love to share it. It's, but it's not a pressure. Four, five years, Nick, this Kunte, Prithi PR team, every day on our while actresses ke suggest yes, in fact, they're kind of pressurizing them to build their followers. I think, yeah, that happens. It kind, I and think, uh, while I even Kunana is directly proportional to the market. Oh, that I doubt. That I clearly doubt because right now the one of the recent hit films of something called uh, Twelfth Fail by Vidhu Vinod Chopra. The actor is Vikrant Masi and he does not really have too many followers, but the film is a hit. So that logic doesn't work always. Mm. Maybe it does for something where, for example, if I'm asking for votes and if I'm uh, on uh, social media active and I tell them, okay, vote for me for this award or for this show or whatever, then that following coming together and voting for you and all of that, that makes sense. But mm. when it comes to movies, I don't think that works because 
if that is the case, then a Samshera or a Thugs of Hindustan and films like these would have been crazy hits. Yeah. But they were not. They didn't make money because they just did not. And films like Wiki Donor, which was a small film which made so much money. Uyala Jampala, new director, <coughs> uh, Raj Tarun being an AD yeah. coming as a hero, mm. producers fairly new, one film old, became a hit, right? So that's the point. I mean, it's not always like the correct math, but sometimes it just works. Exactly. And it having followers nowadays people have you know, unfortunately people are even casted because of having number of following and all. And for some reason it just doesn't make sense to <laughs> <laughs> Usually set low. Age lo meka na padhavala under under maximum, mm. but Always. experience lo matram. <laughs> Always. Experience lo matram meka na chinnna. How do you and yet lo under this settle environment? It's fun. It's always fun because you know sometimes I end up meeting co-actors who say I've been doing this since five years and I just look at them and just smile and they realize. <laughs> so these things happen, but. Uh, I think it's nice because with the experience mm. and the exploration that I've done about life, I've matured faster. I've realized things faster. I've, I'm done with the phases where I felt insecure about myself. I'm mm. done with all that already. Mm. So for me to, you know, feel the sanity in my head has come to me very early. And now sometimes I only feel that I feel that I talk like a 40 year old. <laughs> but it works. I mean, I know if I'm talking something that something is making sense. So I think it's, uh, I, I can't relate to my age people because of this, because all my friends are older, all my close people are older to me. But uh, I mean, that's what life has chosen for me, maybe yeah. because I was ready for it. <laughs> mm, exactly. Avika, Amy Rianna too. Uh, knowing everything before and age kante equitels code because of the exposure yeah. you've been through. Uh, uh, do you consider that as a ante uh, uh, fortunate thing la consider yes thara? Like putte, sometimes you feel like uh yendu kuna ki no na age that get to our name is kuda undunte bound and pitch other. So is there any situation that you felt so? No. Honestly. I've never felt that. I've always felt that I've always been like I said, I don't take things for granted. So if something is coming to me which is rare or something that doesn't happen to my age people, I really think of it as a blessing. I really think of it as like this experience is needed to me right now because there is something bigger going to happen that only I can face or only I can take. So I think that mindset has made me feel that something God sees in me which is special, right? So it's coming to me. <laughs> okay. Balika was a shoot just a time, it was a digital card. It was real, no? No, no, it was digital. By then, it was digital. Digital? Serious, you would have a digital. I'm not that old. No, you're not old, but. No, no. On TV, it was digital by then. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I couldn't see the real part. I would have loved to. But I could have then said to all my co actors that, Jog real hota tha, me tab se kaam kari. That's so fun. What is life to you now? Life to me is at every moment living and being happy. Be, I mean that moment can be a sad one. I can live that, I can be sad for a while and convert my emotions into happiness. I think that is what I am working on right now. Very consciously making sure that you know, I live every moment. If I'm angry, I will be angry. If I am feeling something, I will feel that. I will give myself that few minutes of feeling that. And usually what we tend to do is run away from emotions and run away, okay, I don't want to feel this right now. I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine. I don't need to do that. And I think that is what for me life is right now. For me life is realizing that this is what it is and this is how grateful I should be because People will die or kill to live a life that I live. Uh -huh. People will do anything in their control yeah. to become what I am right now. Yeah. And I'm very well aware of it. And that's why I say I don't take it for granted because every day waking up to, you know, a new set or a new team being this experienced, being 
a producer at 24 like you know i have started my production that age so you know when i see these things when i think of these things ultimately i realize that i come from a non filmy background mm. so for me to achieve so much that has happened all in less years is a lot yeah and uh, because i'm aware of it i feel that my life has been like i've been grounded and i think uh, for me life right now is happy okay avika ipudu anta age kuda undundu meaning teliyadaniki what success is hmm. మీనింగ్ తెలిసే లోపే సక్సెస్ వచ్చేసింది మీ లైఫ్ లోకి అండ్ ఎంత ఎక్స్పోజర్ రావాలో వచ్చేసింది అంటే డూ యూ కన్సిడర్ ఇట్ లైస్ లైక్ ఎ ఫార్చునేట్ థింగ్ అంటే మీరు ఆస్వాదించడం కంటే ముందే యూ యూ గాట్ ఇన్ టు ద ఫేమ్ ఈ ఫేమ్ అంతా వచ్చేసింది డిడ్ యూ ఎవర్ ఫీల్ లైక్ కొంచెం నాకు రియలైజ్ అయ్యే ఏజ్ లో వచ్చింటే ఆ ఫేమ్ అది ఎంజాయ్ చేసిండేదాన్ని అని అనుకుంటున్నా or anything any part of my life if it would have changed i wouldn't be the person i am today and i really like the person i am today because i feel very secure i feel very empowered at all points because i feel that people are watching people are learning i look at my ideals and i want to learn all the time so if i can sit here and talk about you know inspiring people i think this happened because everything happened early mm. this happened because i saw so much at such an early age so it wasn't just balika vadu that i did in life there were so many shows that i did there were so many films that i did after that there is so much that has happened meeting new directors meeting learning the new techniques of film making with every filmmaker there is so much of exposure that sometime i feel that i should write a book <laughs> <laughs> that's a big thing in the in the whole process ante ekkadaina anything went out of control like meeku anta exposure lena podu you started so many things hmm. did anything or any uh, anything that went out of your control or anything go went no bad word. no i think a big credit goes to my parents the way they you know the upbringing matters um i remember in school i was told uh, I, i remember one of my co-actor had a new phone mm-hmm. and i must be 12 years old or something and i said i also want a phone they said okay mm. get xyz this many percentage do good in your tests then we'll see mm. and i remember working very hard just so that i could get that phone so you know that mentality of you have to earn it you have to work hard you have to make sure that education is something that is no option it has to happen i remember there was a rule in my house if you don't want to go to school one day don't go to shoot one day and for me that was a big deal no no i want to shoot i want to go to school so like these you know little things in the upbringing made me really normal otherwise it wouldn't have been the same so a lot of credit goes to people around me also because they protected me mm. from the dark side of the industry or you know i've never faced any uh, dark things that we hear about in the industry i've never faced because everybody looked at me as somebody to apna bachcha mm. she's ours you yes. know so i never faced any of it so i was so protected in this industry that even from the beginning i started when i started in telugu I still don't speak Telugu but people still are okay with it mm. because they know that the idea is that I should express as much as I can not limit the world. And your face words. also looks so so south indian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that acceptance is there in people. So I I think that is what it is. I think the protection that I felt and everything from the industry and the support that I've always gotten from the industry and the audience I think it just keeps you going and it mm. just makes you feel that whatever has happened has happened for a reason. Great. It's it's nice. You're so grateful for the life. <laughs> exactly. I mean what like I wake up every day and think that okay today there's nothing to complain about. You know that's how it is and that's how it should be. Exactly. And now there were rumors like about your marriage and all. Would you like to talk about that? My marriage rumors? Which rumors? That you are going to get married soon and all. on vadhu 
<laughs> I'm getting married on Madhu. Oh, yes, 8th December it is. <laughs> My wedding. Please come. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> no, no, I don't like. No, mm. I'm too young right now. Let's see. Yeah. I mean. But did you see there's news? Like there were news uh, circulating about. I see, you. there is a circulation of rumors. Since I was 12 and 13, about my marriage, I have a hidden child. There is a lot online. Hidden child at 13? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At, no, at 17, hidden 17. child. So I remember all this and it is so much fun. It's so good gossip. Like I love it. But it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Okay, coming to Vadhu. Vadhu, lo me acting and trailer work as you say, it's so intense. Yeah, it's different. Na? Yeah, it's so intense and your experiences are also very subtle. I don't know the story yeah. yet, but uh, I've kept it. I've made sure that it doesn't look like the work that I've done earlier. Mm. I wanted it to look different. I wanted it to give the feeling of the character Indu and not Avika. I wanted people to see that it's Indu talking, and uh, the director obviously helped me do that. And there were times when I was, you know, walking a certain way and my director was like, No. Not Hindu can't do this. Mm. I was like, that's that's right. And then I changed the pattern, the way I walked, the way I sat. Th these little things matter. Mm. And I think if you see the trailer, you'll see that, you know, when she's folding her hands and saying yeah. that you, you said I was Sherlock Holmes. I wouldn't say it like that. That's Hindu speaking. Mm. So I think these little things the director really took care of and uh, I hope people see the difference. <laughs> yeah, we could see in the trailer. In <laughs> thank trailer you, thank itself. you so much. So great. Any, uh, anything that you find challenging in Hindu, like Hindu's character? She's too sorted and clever. Uh, she doesn't speak too much. Whatever she speaks either has a message or an, um, what do you call or she's asking something to know something. She's very clever. She's a woman of very less words. Mm. And I think that confidence is something that I would love to learn and imbibe in my life because you know that uh, sharpness that Hindu has of you know trying to solve something, trying mm. to know something and to crack the code. I think that interest that she has in doing all of this, I think that is really nice. As a woman, I really feel that if I have to solve something, I should be as confident as Hindu is. And I think that is really nice of that character. It's great. We are looking forward to December 8th. Thank All you. the best. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. <laughs>